I'd like to restore my entire virtual machine that I've backed up from Microsoft Azure's portal. Now I set up this backup in a previous video, so you can check that out to see how I set up the backup and ran it. And now that it's been run, we can see that I have a restore point, which gives me an entirely complete uh, snapshot of my virtual machine. Now, in this case, you see it's Windows 10, but this will work on Windows Server as well. So what I want to do is highlight my, uh, my restore point and then click on Restore Virtual Machine. Next, I'll go to Select the Restore Point. And I only have one, so if you have more than one uh, virtual machine backups, then you'll see those here. But I just ran the one, so I'll click OK. And now it's added it into the restore point that you see here. Now I have under restore type, I can click the drop down and I can see I can create a new virtual machine or I can restore the disks. So my other option here is to just replace the existing virtual machine. So if I just want to say, hey, the original virtual machine is just not working anymore. I need to replace it. It needs to go away and I'm going to replace it with the, the backup job. Then I can go ahead and choose that. I can choose the staging location. There's only one there to pick from. In this case, click restore. And then my virtual machine will be restored from my last backup and it will erase the original one there. So I'm going to assume that most people are going to want to create a new one rather than replace the existing one, just in case there's any data they're not sure about. So I'm going to choose the create new one for this demonstration. And under the virtual machine name, I'm going to give it win 10 version 2. In your case, it can be whatever name you want. You can't have any special characters in there, however. The resource group, I'm just going to leave with the only resource group that I have, but you can choose whatever you want there. If you have a virtual network set up, in my case, there it is. I went ahead and chose that. Subnet, it's choosing the default, but if you have another option, you can choose that as well. And the staging location, I'm going to go with the default that you see here. Now I'm going to click Restore. And what it's going to do is it's going to restore my latest snapshot to create a brand new virtual machine that has a different name to it than my original virtual machine. So I'll have both. I'll have my original one and I'll have the restored one from backup. At the top, you can see under the alerts that it's triggering my restore. And the notification says that the restore has been completed. So I'm going to go back to home, click on virtual machines. And now I have two virtual machines. So I'll click on the new virtual machine called Win10Ver2, and I can see that it's started up OK. So now I'm going to connect to it. You can see that the remote desktop connection is connecting into our virtual machine. And the VM is up and running. I'll click on Control Panel, go to System. And you can see this is our original Win10 computer. But in Azure, you can see that it's called the Win10 version 2. Let's see if it has all my original files. Should be a test folder in the C drive. And there it is, test folder, and it contains my original test doc. So it definitely restored my original virtual machine. At this point, I can go ahead and delete my original virtual machine if I want, or I can delete the restored virtual machine or just keep them both. Just remember that it does cost more to keep both virtual machines up and running. So that's how you restore a virtual machine using Microsoft Azure and the backup in the portal.